Hello, I'm Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall this week. The City of Durham will soon be looking for a new police chief. City Manager Tom Bonfield announced in a statement that he and Chief Jose Lopez reached an agreement for Chief Lopez to leave his position. He will be retiring at the end of the year. Bonfield said, I appreciate Chief Lopez's eight years of service to the city during some very challenging times for the Durham Police Department and for law enforcement across the country. Bonfield also said that this decision in no way should be considered a reflection on the outstanding men and women of the Durham Police Department who are committed to serving and protecting the residents of Durham. The city will begin preparations for a national search for a new chief in the coming months. The Public Safety Task Force of the Mayor's Poverty Reduction Initiative is working to reduce poverty in Northeast Central Durham by focusing on several specific areas. The first of those is building a better relationship between law enforcement and the community. The task force has three primary action steps it is taking to build the type of trust needed for those relationships to exist. One is an officer in the neighborhood initiative where we'd like to see the police department assess interest in living in Durham. Right now, fewer than half of the police force lives in the community. Assess interest and then encourage officers to live in communities by perhaps um, providing assistance in buying homes or in renting homes in target neighborhoods. Another initiative the task force is looking at is to foster more interest in becoming a police officer among people who grow up in and live in Durham. Right now, um, the police department's recruiting all across the country. So how can we get more of our young people to grow up to be Durham police officers? There is right now a new public safety program at Holton Career and Resource Center, which happens to be right in the target area of the Mayor's Poverty Initiative. What we're hoping is uh, that we can build on that program. We've had discussions with Principal Dan Guilfort about the possibility of developing a continuum where students would start in the public safety program and then continue on to Durham Tech uh, Technical Community College and um, be trained to be a police officer. The third major initiative is to have a dedicated community liaison officer. And that person would be a face that people could link the police department to and build trust and personal relationship that we think would help uh, foster uh, better safety in the community. Because of the tremendous growth in Durham over the past five years, the task force is also focusing on achieving adequate staffing of the police department. What we're recommending is that uh, the administration look at uh, national uh, standards, uh, cities in North Carolina that we compare ourselves to and see what the ratio of police to citizens is in these communities, how we compare, and then based on that analysis, assess whether more officers are needed. Providing more constructive activities for teens who may otherwise be at risk for becoming involved in gangs is another priority. The task force is already moving forward with a few steps to address this problem. We used an intern in the county manager's office this summer to look at all the existing services uh, for youth in the community at large and then uh, this person actually looked at the distance of those services from the target area. So what's close and what's further away and maybe harder for um, a young person to access. That information is close to being finalized and once it's available, it will be made available um, on the county website uh, for the public and there will be a map that shows the location of all those services and then a description of what those services provide. Once that's available, the task force hopes to convene a group of teens to help identify any remaining gaps and to try expand opportunities at the Holton Career and Resource Center.
Nine new affordable rental homes will soon be available in the revitalized Southside neighborhood for low to moderate income families and individuals. The project took previously vacant boarded up homes and turned them into permanently affordable rental units in duplex or single family layouts. The homes were renovated and are owned by Durham Community Land Trustees. The city supported the project with both federal and locally dedicated housing funds. Four of the units will house homeless veterans and tenants for all the units have been identified. Durham's tax collection rate is continuing to improve. The City Council received the annual tax settlement report from the Durham County Tax Administration Office during its September 10th work session. The report shows that the city billed $148,820,000 in taxes during the fiscal year that ended on June 30th. Of that amount, $148,235,000 was collected, making for a 99.6% collection rate. Durham has the third highest collection rate in the state. That high collection rate is one of the primary reasons why the city has ended yet another year on a positive financial note. The city's fourth quarter financial report shows that in addition to the property taxes as a strong source of revenue, the final income from sales tax is estimated to be $55 million. That's more than $7 million over what was budgeted. All departments are also projected to have finished the year within budget, spending $5.7 million less than expected. For more information about the fourth quarter report, visit the Budget and Management Services Department's homepage on the city's website. If you haven't visited the city's website lately, you should. It's had a makeover geared toward making it more user-friendly and engaging. The new design has the top visited places prominently displayed, so you can go directly to Durham One Call, Employment Information, the Media Center, Pay Utilities, and others right from the front page. From the online services page, you can subscribe to specific information you'd like to receive from the city, including press releases, bid postings, parks and recreation updates, and more. You can also sign up for alerts about urgent or emergency information about city services or facilities. In addition to all that, the new website is mobile friendly, so the information you need will be right at your fingertips no matter where you are. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also find us on demand on Durham Television Network's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Amy Blaylock. Thank you for joining us.